hobbyhottips.com. Right now we're going to show you how we magnetize the doomsday arc into a ghost arc. So first we're going to take the uh, gun brackets and as you can see we're sawing off the pegs that are on both sides. And we're going to save those pieces for later because we're going to glue those into the uh, sockets that go into the rib pieces later. And now we're going to use uh, a drill and we're going to drill out a space where we're going to use steel nail heads. That's how we uh, can magnetize these, not use as many magnets, and be able to flip the gun racks the way we need to. So you can see we're um, using a Dremel. This is a really nice Dremel. It helps us to have nice control when we're drilling out all of our magnet holes. There it shows me cutting the um, steel head nail and then just popping on that nail tip right into the hole that we just drilled. Next we're going to take the sprue from the ghost arc and we're going to snip out a nice uh, cross piece or a piece that looks like an X and we're going to fit this into the back rib piece so that we can put a magnet inside. So see we cut it to size and we're going to glue it in. And we're also going to put one in the front rib piece so we clipped another one out. We're going to use model glue so we have a really strong bond and glue it in to that front rib piece. This one's going to hold that front bend because you flip it uh, depending on which formation you're doing. And with both of them we're going to hand drill small holes in there so the super glue can hold on to the magnets when we glue those in. Next we're going to show you how we're going to put the troops onto the spine. And the way we do that is we cut this little piece off, that's where we're going to glue the magnet onto the rack where the troop is held. So we just cut that off and then this is the carriage. On the carriage we have to shave down the inside plastic um, because we're going to put on large magnets. The magnets were a little bit larger than that sizing so that helps us out with put, fitting those in. So here's where we're at. We have that back rib piece that has the glued in X um, sprue. We have little holes drilled there so it can anchor down the magnets. Uh, here's the front rib piece. Again we have a piece of sprue also in that cap we have a piece of sprue glued in so that we can fit magnets in so they can make a tight bond. And this will allow us to flip it up and down and have a magnetic um, attraction. So here's all the rib pieces. We have them aligned front to back. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold them together and drill in the holes necessary to put in magnets. So you can see we did the first part. And then we keep adding the pieces that go next, fitting them together and drilling the holes that we need. And you want to keep these all together in the same formation just so you can keep track of which ones go where. Most importantly, the front and the back ones so you know where those little pieces of uh, plastic sprue are glued on for the main magnets to um, be in the proper places when you put everything together. And we see right there where we need to drill the hole for the cannon. So as we're holding it, be very careful. You might not want to do it that way like I did. Um, but that way we get the hole where we need it for that magnetization. So we're taking a look at where we're at again, looking at the pieces. We have the cap for the carriage. Uh, we have the ribs there. And these are the magnets that we're going to use for the carriage. So uh, we're going to take these off. We're going to try to keep track of the polarization of the magnets. We're filling in the small screw holes that we made so that that way the anchoring for the magnet will stay strong. We won't have any magnets pulling out. And you see I'm double checking the polarity because I don't want to make any mistakes. I want to make sure that the same polarity on the top magnet is going to be the same polarity for the bottom magnet. And the reason why we're doing that is obvious because the um, whole rib cage uh, looking part is going to fit on both the top portion and the lower portion depending on if you have doomsday arc or ghost arc. And right there I'm doing the small cap that covers up uh, one of the sections when it is in, I believe, the ghost arc form. Uh, that way um, you could use a magnet like we show here, but you could uh, be more efficient and not waste a magnet and simply use a steel nail head because uh, it doesn't really need that strong of a bond with magnetization to hold that cap on. It's a smaller part. It doesn't really have structural um, needs so you could just use a steel magnet or a steel uh, nail head for that. 
And it's a good idea when you're working with magnets, maybe to have wooden toothpicks. That way the magnets aren't sticking to your tools. Um, again, I'm checking the polarity again, just double checking before the glue gets solidified. Um, very important, otherwise it takes a lot of work to try and pry those things out once they're set in. For a list of all the magnets that we use, just look at the um, text at the bottom of the video and you'll see all the sizes and all the things that we use to, uh, to accomplish this project. Now I'm using a smaller magnet to put on the front piece. Um, it shows, shows me using a hand drill and then we're using the Dremel. It's always important to start smaller holes obviously because uh, we don't want to have a rogue hole as you're drilling. Uh, and I'm using a nail head. So on one side we're using a magnet, on the other side we're using a nail head. Again, it saves you money if it doesn't need to be a very strong uh, magnetization. Um, so that way you get more out of your magnets. So you see there we have a magnet and on the other end is the steel metal nail head. Now we're going to glue in the small nubs that I sawed off of the gun racks into place. And what we're going to do here is only on one side do we need to drill small holes for magnets. And on the other side of those ribs for the gun racks, we don't have to do anything. Again, uh, those gun racks have metal or steel nail heads on both ends. So really you only need one magnet to attract both sides so you're able to flip them. So right now we're going to saw off the little nub on the cannon because we're going to drill that out to put a magnet in there so that way we can mount it to the rib. We're just, we're just using a knife. We're sawing that off. Um, we're trying to make it really clean because we know we're going to have to drill a hole there. We don't want it to be uneven. And then we use our hand drill to do a starting hole. And then we're going to use the Dremel to finish drilling it out. It's just a safer way to do it. That way you don't, again, with these round objects that you're drilling into, nothing slips out or uh, gouges your hands. It's just a safe way to do it. So we're going to use super glue to glue down that magnet on, on the other end. We do not have those two pieces of the uh, spine and rib glued together. We're going to take those apart. And then because we want that magnet to be able to magnetize and sink into the spine area, we're going to kind of sink that magnet a little bit into uh, the hole there. So it's not protruding. We don't have, you can't see magnets sticking out of our model. It's just a, uh, it looks nicer when it's all complete. So you wouldn't even know that it's a magnetized model. It's, um, it's nice clean work. And again, we want to check the polarity before we make this a sealed deal and glue everything together. So we're just checking everything to make sure that everything agrees with each other. Now we're going to actually drill the beginner holes for the gun racks to put our magnets in. So again, we did a starter hole, use the Dremel to um, get a hole started, then just glue it down. What's nice about doing it this way is you don't have to check the polarity on the gun racks. Again, because they have steel nail heads, it doesn't really matter. Now here's the small cap that will cover up the magnet on the bottom. Um, because the only time you really need to see that is when you mount the cannon. Here's the video showing how we have the troops. We're going to magnetize them. And what we're doing here is, as you can see, there's already a magnet on the troop rack. And we're going to put an entire stack of magnets in there. So there's glue in the hole right now. And the way we stack the magnets is so that the magnet can be sunk inside of the spine just enough so that the other magnet can sit there and anchor it down. And then when you're done, you just take the magnets out and you have uh, the perfect spacing so you don't have any Frankenstein looking magnets sticking out for the troops to attach to. Now we're gluing it all together. We're using super glue because in case you do lose a magnet, it's never fun. You can take it off and reapply. And just to show you how everything works again, we're kind of fast forwarding it up. Everything's nice and clean, works very well, and stays together. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe, like us, and stay tuned for more awesome model-making videos.